Hi friends. Today's story is about a pig named Olivia. Olivia is a pretty sassy little pig, but she's a lot of fun and her favorite color is red. This story is written by Ian Faulkner and I hope you enjoy it. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, and her dog, Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning, after she gets up, she moves the cat. She brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat. Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. So many choices. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles. She got pretty good. <laughs> Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Nope. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. This is actually one of my favorite pictures, too. It's about um, an artist named Degas. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? There she is. She put herself in the painting. But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. <laughs> Take a look at Olivia's mother. Get a good look. She is not very happy. Time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four, two, three? Oh, all right, three, but that's it. <laughs> when they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway too. <laughs> The end. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed Olivia and her crazy adventures. Uh, I have a few more stories, so we might see Olivia again later. Have a good day. Bye.